questioning, you know, why am I having these struggles? And often it's imposter syndrome because you haven't been there yet. So regardless of where you are in your business or in the journey, it's so, so common. And so I love that we're talking about this because this is something I see and hear from my clients all the time. Often they don't even realize what's going on. So let's define it. Let's talk about what is imposter syndrome. Okay, so imposter, yeah. So imposter syndrome is when you are trying to do something. So you've reached a certain level um, and you feel like you're not really that person that you're trying to be. You don't really have the skills to perform at that, at the level that you're trying to perform at. And what happens is there are signs of this. So number one, it's you're not closing deals. Number two, it could be that you're going in circles with your messaging. You haven't really stepped into owning what you want to be saying about what your offer is. Number three, you are playing smaller than you want to, right? You might be thinking Yeah, you're retracting. When you thought of starting your business, you thought, oh my gosh, I can't wait. It's going to be great. I'm going to do all these things. I'm going to have these clients. I, you know, but you are finding that you are not achieving the goals and you're not achieving those benchmarks that you had planned on. And often it's because of that imposter syndrome narrative that's going on in your head. Number four, you're scared to charge what you're worth. How often do you see that when we go with your clients, right? At least once a day, if not 10 times a day, right? Whenever we talk to coaches, we're like, stop selling three part packages and step into that value. So critical. And then number five, when you talk to a potential client, you are telling yourself, you're not qualified 